So, so for example, when he says, um, show me your faith without works. Um, have faith in the scripture, uh, thou believe that this there is one, one God. So, okay, yeah, so, verse 18, yeah, yeah. 218, so this yeah. Is the thing. Yeah, a man says, do, do, you say I have, you have faith and I have works. Show me the faith that I work and I will show you my faith by my works. So it's just showing you that you are not true believers by the evidence of their works because the Bible describes us as trees. You know, uh, it talks about good trees bearing good fruit and bad trees bearing bad fruit. So, for example, let's say, you know, something that we do not agree on, let's say for us, and then we see a woman pastor, if she goes against the Bible, or so even if she goes inside the Christian, according to what the Bible says, she's going against the Bible because she's practicing the homosexuality and promoting this. And that's what we can say, well, even to your words, you're not a Christian. But the most important thing in here, so you mentioned the, the heart of Rahab. Yeah. Rahab. That's why it was also not Rahab the heart of justified by words when she had received the messengers and sent her out. But in here, it says, for her the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Yeah, so, exactly. so if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you're dead. Mm -hmm. See, when it says about the Spirit, it's talking about the Holy Spirit. I'm going to feel dead now. Sorry, because I keep getting distracted. But you know, you say that you work saved you. I say you must be born again. Faith and work, because faith without works is dead. And Abraham's faith was made complete by his work. But it was, but also in Hebrews 11, we, we see a list of people that were saved by faith. Yes. And I say to you that you need to be born again. But Hebrews is a historic, traditionally was attributed to Paul, whereas James was the brother of Jesus. Um, and James opposed Paul, like he sent messengers to spy on Paul, or to uh, Antioch, and then uh, Peter originally was with Paul, but then he separated from fellowship with from Paul, and so did Barnabas. We, we say that they don't know who the child is, the message of the Bible, as yes, you said, they must have gone again, receive the Holy Spirit, and you know, you work to show evidence of your salvation. You know, that you are you also work to not save you, because you work to never be good enough for God. But your faith, your faith by itself won't save you as well, because your faith, well, Abraham's faith was made complete when he, by his work. No, but it says that he was, um, so Abraham was just well, it says Abraham believed God and was accredited to him as righteousness. Yeah. But if you look at the context, the but in Romans 4 it says that yeah. Abraham was justified by faith. And, and not by his work. For yeah. if Abraham could be justified by his work, then he would have reason to boast. But James says that Abraham was justi justified by his work and his faith was made complete. Uh, it's in James chapter 2, um, James chapter 2, verse number 20 something. Um, I'll just show you. James, James chapter 2, um, verse four, uh, 21. Wasn't our ancestor Abraham considered righteous for what he did when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? You see that his faith and his actions were uh, were working together and his faith was made complete by what he did so that scripture could be fulfilled that Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness um, and he was called God's friend you see a person is justified oh sorry okay do, do you want to read it um, Abraham believed God yeah. And he was called God's friend. I was called God's friend. It was given him his righteousness. And he was, yeah. And you yeah, said, so uh, justified by what he does. And yeah, not but by I gave you, but I gave you the example. Of, you know, when also Jesus says, you know, that how do you know people by good news and bad news? Exactly, yeah. yeah. By the truth, you shall know them. Um, he was only age of 18 according to the You know what you're talking about. The book of Matthew calls a child 12 years old. She says she was 18. She was called a woman in the book of Luke. You're a dogbo. You're a dogbo. Now get on your knees with Muhammad and kiss his side. Kiss Muhammad's side. Kiss the side of Muhammad. 
get the, get the Christmas Okay, sandwich. we're going to leave now. I'm going to finish this one. Yeah. Because um, we, don't, we don't do them things yet. We don't kiss the side of no man. See, for example, in uh, in Matthew, he didn't be a person to do So, so he's a mother. This Mary, three-year-old. Show me the Bible. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. Show me the Bible. Are you charging it? Are you charging it? Are you charging it? Are you so, we, we, we yeah, about, uh, uh, Abraham so, what? so Jesus recognizes that people are evil, and this is in Matthew 7, and he's giving the instruction. He is, uh, no, I'm, I'm going to finish because he's saying that he's going to have work for this day, and I'm, I'm going to end it with about Jesus. He's talking about truth. You know, I'm just going to see, if you read in Matthew 7, he says, I see you in the straight gate, hide is the gate, and Buddha is the way that leads to destruction. And many by which go in the red, because exactly. straight is the gate, yeah. and now is the way which lead unto life, and few will be in it. And, it says, and he says, you'll be justified by your word, no, it, well, uh, yes, and not by your, your but faith. But he says, you were prophets, which yeah. come to your ship's clothing, but you will lead their But to test words. them, or to and try them. Says, yeah. But this is the thing, you know, it says, you know, be aware, because, you know, they come to you in ship's clothing, so they can appear to be, mm. you know, and it says, Righteous, you, you should know reality, them by their yeah. fruits. You see, this is people who profess exactly. Christ, but they have bad fruit. You should know them by their fruits. The man gathered grapes or thorns or pigs or tears. And even so, every good tree brings forth good fruit. But a corrupt tree brings forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. And every tree that brings not forth good fruit is torn down and cast into the fire. Where God by the fruit you should know them. You know, and it's the And not everyone is says, sure enter and kingdom. And basically saying, but he who obeys God yeah. shall enter heaven. Yeah. And, and he then, who does the will of my father yeah, shall enter but he, heaven. He also yeah. says very importantly to the people because he's Lord. He's the one who makes the final judgment of who goes to hell and heaven. And here we, he says to them... Um, well, he's a prophet because he says the words are not no, my he, words. Yeah, because he's God has sent me and, and, he, has and he says to them, you know, to the ones that he cast in, in hell, he says to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, so they yeah. never knew Jesus. So this is in and reference is to those without the law, because in the Greek is without nomos, no, and nomos are, are refers to aura. Because in here, if you go, if you see, it's talking about good tree and bad tree, and that's yeah. why it says faith without the, works is that because the fruits you will know them. See, yeah. You need to see the, the the fruit, and that's why an LGBT pastor so who God says I says, believe in Jesus, Jesus is God, mm -hmm. blah blah blah, she's. She's an, she's a, an apostate, you know. Is it, is it sorry? For example, an LGBT pastor oh, would be oh, an apostate, okay. and that's why we say no. From your fruit, you, according to what Jesus said, mm -hmm. you are a worker of iniquity. Because I'm sure you have the same, you know. If a woman was LGBT imam, you would think, well, actually, you're not following Allah. Well, I mean, if someone's sinning, um, well, you would give them the, words some advice. Uh, you, yeah. you count, you counsel them. Yeah. Um, but but I was, I was just going to say with regards yeah. to Abraham, okay. uh, so in Genesis chapter 26 verse 4, God says um, he will bless Abraham by multiplying his seed um, and that if he could count the stars, um, he could count his descendants. And the reason is, is because Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes and my laws. Yeah. So um, Paul misunderstood uh, Abraham. So Paul says uh, if Abraham could be justified by his works, he would have reason then to both. But he says, by faith you are saved. But here uh, Genesis is saying that Abraham obeyed God and kept yeah. his commandments and statutes uh, and, and his law. And therefore God will now bless him. Um, so uh, it's faith and works are not works alone or faith alone, but they go hand in hand. I, I believe, I mean, 
the, the same Bible tells you that Abraham met God, so do you agree with this? Yes, I believe, he met, yeah. He appeared yeah. to him, but no, we believe... But not in a physical the, sense, we, we a believe, location. Like well, we believe... Because um, God's infinite, he's unlimited, he's unfathomable. But we, we believe anyway. But spiritually, you know, we, Abraham we met he God. Yeah. But we he's believe a friend of God. You know, obviously, Paul was an apostle of Christ, and he had makes the same claim as Muhammad. Muhammad was I visited, agree. he had dreams, he had vision, and so did Paul. So we, is it, but maybe the next time we can discuss that. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, God but thank you, you, Amy. Thank you. Uh, hi, brother. Okay, alhamdulillah. Um, you know, the brother was asking me for a Bible. Um, you were asking me for a Bible, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Do you want this one? But uh, what are you going to do? I've got lots of Bibles at home. So is it? You're fine, sure yeah. about yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, it's fine, yeah. I just want to read it by myself. I mean... Okay, cool. Inshallah, yeah. yeah. That was actually really good, yeah. I thought. Uh, yeah, alhamdulillah. Yeah, that, that actually went well. It. It, it just got ruined by um, what was happening in the background. Now, got the, ruined. Now, the conversation was good, but it became disrupted because of the background noise. So Amy was kind of like focused upon what was happening there. Um, can, we, can we do multiple streaming from our channel? Yeah, okay, okay, sure, yeah. We've got like 23,000 subscribers right now. I'm not, oh, no, 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 that's more than what I've done. But yeah, why don't we just do a nice discussion? Yeah, yeah. yeah why don't we do it, man? I haven't, I haven't had a discussion with Nassim in a while. Yeah. Yeah. Nassim's always been nice, bro. Uh, so I've got I appreciate you, you saying that. So. Like, cool. You've been the nicest Muslim And here. we don't have to <laughs> agree as well, so. Yeah. We can respectfully disagree, so... We don't yeah. have to agree, as long as we, we, we leave with love. Exactly, we with yeah. love and that's how it works. It's cordial and stuff, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, what is that? R-U-T-H, Ruth. What is that, Ruth? Sorry? There is a one chapter, R-U-T-H, Ruth. Ruth, yeah, it's a lady. It's a lady? Yeah, it's a chapter named after... So you know you have Sura Maryam? Okay. There's a book named after a lady. Her name. Okay. Yeah, but I don't know who she is actually. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Is that Old Testament, I think? Uh, I don't know. I saw it in the big one. Okay, so, yeah. In the beginning, yeah. So, I so you know, the Bible is like an encyclopedia of small books okay. and letters. So it's not like one volume, but um, it's like mi min miniature writings. Okay. Um, Contained in, like, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, this, this book is uh, King James Version? Um, it's a new international version. Okay, new international. So, it's used in America by evangelical Christians. 